right now we're at the uh, woolen mill in Cleveland Tennessee and uh, just cruising around some of the property and kind of found this thrown in the back part of the woods you can see the building behind me off in the distance pretty interesting wonder how it got here because looks awful heavy to be carrying it over here but some sort of uh something to do with some sort of water box or something i'm not exactly sure steam generation maybe i'm not wrong i don't know part of the boiler could be pretty big place so most of these mills are I just I'm surprised that it's in this good a shape doesn't it's abandoned on parts of it and looks like they're trying to get some businesses to go back in one end of it but I don't know it's interesting not much uh, vandalism or graffiti on the place so here's part of the mill that is in the very back uh, interestingly enough some sort of warehouse it's in pretty good shape not too much damage to it yeah this is all their lot so it's pretty cool interesting don't touch that or turn it off yeah That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. I like it. And now we're on the very uh, south side of the complex. This one's a little less protected, obviously, with all the graffiti. Well, we're going to do a little exploring, see if we uh, can see some stuff that is interesting to uh, shoot. So. Let's check it out. Huh. I'm not sure what this was. Some sort of warehouse I would take it.
this was the uh, part of the building that I was just in. The windows are all busted out right here. Or missing. I don't even think they're broken. They're just missing. Interesting. Some sort of loading dock for trucks or something. So we're still at the uh, woolen mill and uh, we're headed through the parking lot right now to uh, just curious because the way the fence was out front looked like this might have been part of their um, parking for the employees and whatnot. And apparently we've run into a uh, quite a little junkyard here. Looks like they wanted the wheels off of it. Oh yeah. Huh. Wild. I ain't touching nothing. I don't want my fingerprints anywhere near this. Apparently they do this pretty regular, huh? Yeah, this is a spot to dump abandoned cars, apparently. That's too bad, because... Yeah, it is. No. I uh, believe it's an MG. Or triumph. Yeah. It's one or the other, I'm not really sure. It's missing too many parts and too rough a shape for me to tell exactly what it is. Found some chucks. Yeah, I gotta film that. That's funny. Maybe. I don't know. That's a cool picture. Things you find when you're out exploring. Yeah. This place is big now. It is. Wow. I gotta go find out what the original name of the mill was. Because it was something different than what it's called today. Yeah, I granted those are new windows, but right above the windows, they're open. That don't make any sense. But... I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Uh, how many employees did this place have? Uh, I think it was around like 1,500, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, hon. I'm pretty well convinced. That's why this building hasn't been burned down. It's kind of hard to burn it down when you uh, go this way, right behind it. Yeah, there's the fire, fire department, so. But the main structure that's historic is in pretty good shape. I mean, I would imagine a bunch of these windows were broken before they closed the place. You know what I mean? Yeah, now we're getting to the old historic part, for sure. This is the very beginning of the mill right here. No, you can. I'm just saying this old gray brick is the very, very beginning of the mill. And everything else has been added on. 
which is very, very common. Yeah, they've done a pretty good job of restoring, restoring and uh, preserving this one. That's cool. I like it. 